So in this video, we're going to add enemy health and some particle systems in when player die. So this will go into something like this. So uh, let's start. Okay. So first thing we need to do here, just go to the player and go to add a ground check. Ground check going to be ne is near the player, uh, near the legs of the player. So when the player leg hits his uh, enemy's head, so it's going to die. So basically, I'm going to add a collider, which is going to check whether his head the enemy is touched or not. So then we're going to just kill the enemy simple. So we're going to add a component, we're going to search for the box slider. So box slider 2D. And next thing we need to resize the collider. So it just uh, have the leg into him. So just I'm going to make it 0. 0 0.1 or 0 0.2. 0 0.3 is a good value. And 0 0.1. Some board, something here. You can resize your own needs. And next thing we need to make so is going to be its trigger. So we just now want to have it work like as a collider. We just need to be trigger. And next thing I'm going to tag this player. The guy is a player. And also this ground check player. Ground check make so that you make the give the tag ground check player. And now in order to kill we need to add a new strip to them and this this guy. So just choose character and we're going to the and add a component so I basically I'm going to create a new script for this and so it is easy to manage the code so I'm going to type uh, uh, that script going to responsible for enemy death so you can name anything you want I'm going to make enemy uh, death so anything enemy death simple simple, simple name create an add let's do wait for the time Okay, next thing we need to open up this in the visual studio or in your code editor double click here and let's take a time okay we are come here now now here we need to delete both matter we don't need this matters and we don't need it so we need a uh, wide wide on trigger enter 2d so then we're going to give a condition. So this pattern is going to be checked for any trigger collider that has trigger enabled has collided or not. So we first give a condition what and check whether it's the player or not. So if collision dot compare tag and here we're going to give the name player and the if then we we need to simply kill that guy. They kill that guy. Sorry, kill our enemy. So simply in this here, we're going to just destroy game object dot. So we're going to destroy this game object. But basically, one problem is that if you're going to call the script from here, so it destroys this game object. And then it does not destroy the A and B and the whole object. So we need to destroy the parent object too. So we're going to choose transform dot parent. And then we need to access the game objects. If that is done, uh, we can go back to the Unity editor and check whether it's working or not. So make sure one thing make sure that name uh, name is correct. So that the correct name. So let's try to play and check on this guy is working or not. Who's coming towards me? And yes, it's time. Uh, let's make the uh, collider more smaller. Just it's, look, is hit, hit like that. We make to show the collider is small there. Uh, we're going to make it 0 0.2 so work more quickly and then we go jump over his his dive okay so it's destroyed and next thing if I go to character here so I found that instead of dynamics we it, it will kinematics is much better what happens when the kinematics so it is not going to be affected by the standard forces so we play cannot push the AI of uh, our, sorry, you cannot push the AI so it does not fall anywhere. So, also, animal use full kinematics and contact. So, this means dynamic cannot interact with the kinematics. So, kinematics object can interact with uh, dynamics objects. So, if you look, if I go here, if you look, it's starting pushing me, but I can't push him. So, I is done for this guy. This guy does not have currently enable the kinematics for him, but we cannot push this guy. So we need to write the changes. So this happened to the next game object too. Okay. So 
okay so uh, now both objects going to work same way so we cannot push that guy too and it's going to destroy now we need some effect because our game always destroyed just immediately we need to have some kind of effects like particles and animation it's depending on you how you want to in this case i'm going to use the particle systems so let's first create a right click here i'm going to get a particle system then going to instantiate that particle system on the the position of the enemy when he's dive so add a particle system okay and i think first um, we need to focus on the particle system so make sure that transform goes to reset somewhat like this and you need to first go to the renderer here you can choose how can your particle is going to render uh, and the animation so first uh, custom render and here you can change the material of the particles so first thing I'm going to change to the sprite default and we need to go to texture sheet animation enable this texture sheet animation and use sprite mode we need a sprite so let's go to tiles that we have any sprites can be used in the place of this ok I think this sprites uh, we can create I think we are going to use this sprites so what is the name tile 150 Dial 105. So let's search for 0151. One. So yes, we got it. And now we have a tile here. Now let's set the size. So I'm going to have some random size. So let's start size. If you look here, start size and going to have a random between two constants. Have a 0 0.1, 0 0.3, and 0 0.8 some value 5 some volume okay this looking good also I'm going to do a shape so it's not right shape it's the cone right now is basically is it uh, right now is a 3d shape and that's what not we want so let's do circle okay circle is much better and also going to get emission we need but many particles so 100 that's nice value and I'm going to this uh, going to the gravity modifier. We want to the this sprite fall down, so I'm going to give it one. Hey, look, I'm also going to stick it to recent by one, uh, 0 0.5, and just make it looking false. Play, it's have like this value, so 0. Point, uh, having much more value, but like right. let's play. Okay, restart. Okay, this work like him as 0. Point, 0.2 oh nice so our so this value depends on you how you want to and we also play on week is uh, enabled so and we can also choose emission is okay right now save and you can you also have collision objects to play is asking for the plane we don't have any plane right now so it's, I think it's not going to work I have plane board World mode 2D and display. Okay, look, it started working. Our particles have a collision now. So you can collide with everything. You can just actually, it's going to work as a layer. We just separate the ground layer. So I want to have work with the ground. And if I play, it's just not going to interact with any other part stuff on the ground. Or interact with the ground. And I don't want to. Do Pounds something about less so 0 0.2 is a uh, big and also I'm going to decrease the lifetime of the particles by one I just dis destroy immediately uh, just increase the particles more particles okay the value is right you can just play around the settings and create like what is work for you best so I'm going to leave here now particle system just rename this name this um, uh, dead effect dead effect and just make up a uh, prefab and I'm going to delete it here delete this now back to the MD script here ok so first thing we need to reference this uh, particle system so we can reference this as a game object public 
game object okay game object and let's name it some kind of effect you can name it our dead effect simple then we need to instantiate this dead effect So let's make instantiate. So we need to instantiate this object. So to our uh, dead effect here, then we need to do the position. So position will be our this transform dot position. And so rotation. Let's check one more time. What is the uh, rotation of this particle system? So we apply according to him. So we have not, no rotation right now. So just give continuum dot identity. So if we going to play and just touch this, oh sorry, I forget one thing that our AI does not have. Uh, our AI does not have any dead effect right now. Just okay. and override this also completely. And if you touch and if uh, sorry, if you touch is. Something like you get some effect, something like this. Just get this guy too. So, our dead effects now working. Now, we also need to destroy this dead effect. We don't know, it's really optional, but for the optimization, just the mode, just the game object, the uh, good performance be higher. So, let's create a new script here, uh, C sharp, and let's name this uh, destroyer. And after just attach this destroyer to this game object, open up the script and just delete everything here. Just create a uh, just let's create a initialize field load and time left. So it's just time left. Uh, after like the instances, you have some time left before it's destroyed. So let's simply call destroy this dot game object and we also give some what after time in this game time left. If it's zero destroy immediately and if you want it's going to destroy after one second to and after like this. Let's um, so here so I'm going to destroy this game object after two seconds for example. And if you kill, oh, sorry, if I kill this object, look, it destroyed. If dead effect, I'm going to destroy. And I never going to destroy. So it's really depend on you how you can customize the whole particle system as your own needs. So that's it for this video. And in the next video, we're going to look on the how we can add the player health on the uh, player health on the player. And thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye. I'm